Matt Weninger is a competitor. The 1989 birth year goaltender from Lethbridge, Alberta, is one of the elite goaltenders in the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League. By early January 2010, Weninger has recorded 20 wins, five losses, and one overtime loss, along with a sizzling .929 save percentage for the Flin Flon Bombers. Uh, you know, I just like coming out every night and, and having that pressure on you that you're the guy that, for the most part, uh, I mean, you control the outcome of the game. Uh, you can control it in a good way and in a negative way, so the pressure is definitely on you, and that's fun for me, and, and that gets me up every game. You know, I think I'm very strong positionally. I think I'm, I'm always in a good position. I'm athletic. I'm quick. Uh, you know, I battle for every puck. I think I, I see pucks in traffic well, and, and I, you know, I'll just find a way to stop the puck. Uh, you know, and, and I use that athleticism and, and quickness and, and the battling ability to, to try and stop any puck no matter what. Uh, very positionally sound. Um, you know, he makes himself big. Uh, you know, athletic. He. He's a combination of an athletic goaltender and then a goaltender that relies on, on positioning. Um, you know, he, he's a guy that uh, will come up with that big save when you need it. You know, the timely save. And, you, you know, they say it's not how many saves you make, but when you make them. And, and uh, he's been that for us this year. You know, probably just, you know, playing well in traffic. Uh, you know, not phased by bad goals, not not phased by a bad game, being able to turn things around and, and the mental toughness aspect. Uh, I mean, I guess you can't really pick that up watching one game, but I, I think if you watched a series of games, you'd see that and, and you'd see my ability to to battle through and 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 make big saves. The six foot one, 170 pound goaltender has the ability to make saves and shut out his opponents. Weninger started his junior career off strong, setting a record for the longest shutout streak as a rookie. And that goaltending perfection has continued throughout his three seasons of junior hockey. By early January 2010, Weninger is only one shutout away from the all-time SJHL shutout record. You know, it'd be a huge honor to break that record. Uh, you know, I, I had the honor to play against Taylor Nelson my first year in the league, and, and I watched him and, and how good of a goaltender he was, and, and the opportunity to, you know, break his record you know especially after he broke my consecutive minutes record so <laughs> I think I, I kind of owe him one and you know it it's a huge honor to to be mentioned in the same breath as, as a guy like that and, and it'd be a huge honor to, to break that record. I'm not so sure you know I, I think that positionally he's just very good and, and he makes himself so big and you know I think he plays the percentages pretty pretty well um, you know a lot of times just because of his positioning he makes a save and and not to say that he can't uh, sprawl out to make that, you know, diving save or anything like that, but he's just, you know, sometimes it's effortless for him because he is in such good position. And uh, I mean, confidence-wise, he's the type of kid, once he gets on a roll, it's like, look out. I mean, he's had back-to-back -back years where he's had four shutouts in a row, and you don't just do that with luck, you know. And uh, it was pretty impressive last year when I seen it, and, you know, I knew about it the year before in Kindersley, and, you know, I, I was kind of shocked when, when it happened again last year, but pretty happy about it for sure. With SATs written and already through the NCAA Clearinghouse, Weninger is hoping to acquire an NCAA Division I hockey scholarship, just like his goaltending cousins, David and Todd Weninger. You know, I think I grew up as a, at a young age with, you know, watching my cousins play at, at Michigan Tech, and, you know, I've grown up with a family that education is very important, and, and, you know, to be able to play hockey at a high level while getting an education I think would be you know the ultimate goal and, and something that would be great you know if hockey doesn't work out you have the education and you're still playing hockey at a very high level. Of, of the goaltenders that I've had over the three years uh, you know we've had some pretty good tenders and uh, and even back when I played college hockey I played with some pretty good goaltenders and, and he's definitely right there there's no question and uh, you know like I said he, he's a goaltender that can get very hot and, and when he gets hot he, he's definitely the best in the, in the league and very capable of playing a Division One at a Division One level. You know, I, I think I'm a winner. I, I think I bring the opportunity, you know, for coming to the net and, and make some saves and give teams a chance to win every night. And uh, you know, I think I battle hard. I compete hard. Uh, and you know, I mean, wins is what it's all about. You know, every team wants winners, and, and I think that's very important. And I think I bring that to the table. If you think Matt Weninger can help your hockey team, please take down the contact information on your screen.
This has been a DOS Star Video Scouting presentation.